ya. Wow. Okay, so the first line will go to Cookie. Wait, I gotta put on. Wait a minute, uh, I was just about to cut off the knife and like um, wasn't making them fun. Like, yeah, um, wasn't making it fun. Okay. Hi, that is what it says. Yeah. It's the conversational, not hi. Yeah. Um, next one for Anthony. あ、そんな言うじゃあるまいしそんなそんな言うじゃあるまいあいあいどんのわあるまいしみつうんいやいつかんでウィルドあいついつかんでウィルドあいつかんでウィルドあいつかんでウィルドあいつかんでウィル
when it occurs in this form. There's another kara, which is a totally different kara, has no relationship at all to this kara, which means because. Okay. From yeah. kara occurs after nouns. An example of a noun is nanika, right? Nanika kara, or mi is also a noun, hence the o following it. Um, samui ends with a e, which means it's not a noun. So because of that, if you want to have the word from and cold and put them together, we're not allowed to say samui kara, because then it sounds like we're saying because it's cold. We want to say from the cold. So sa is one of the many ways to turn an e adjective into a noun adjective. So it's the cold rather than cold, it's cold, cold e. So that, that's all it's doing. The sa is here to turn this samui into a noun. How is sa? Like, is there like a rule for? Is it that asem or? I don't know. Um, I believe it's just called sa. If you search sa grammar, uh, it it probably will pop up for adjectives. You could say e adjective sa, and it'll pop yeah. up. It specifically, it is a category maker of something. So, um, like okisa means size, even though literally it's bigness, but it's used to say oh. the size of an object. So samusa is the cold, okay. as in the cold level category word. Um, but we wouldn't say okay. coldness in the English sentence here. So it, but that that's what it is. Okay. Um, Motto I, betsuno. Wait, motto. Oh, did we? Uh, I haven't translated motto betsuno. It's like um, even more, even even more. So betsu means more. different. So even more, more different. different. A more different thing. Even more different. So he's actually saying here that um, protecting oneself, like, so the one kid says, ah, oh, so like uh, protecting yourself. He says, oh, like the snow hut. He says, well, right, dakido. While it is true that a kamukara does protect you from the cold, I was actually looking for something else that's more protective of oneself. That's different than the kamukara, which the answer was yappari, yappa, senso toka. What does senso mean? Yeah, it's battle. I, uh, war. War. Yeah, so the thing that one needs to, that is used to protect oneself is war, kind of, is what that response is. Yeah. But she says, senso, mm, yappari, chikaoka. But she says, war, well, that's a little bit different, too. That's that's also not the voca word I'm looking for. Mm, what word could it be? Uh, next to bubbles goes to cookie. Oh, so nami, samui is like, um, oh, I'll skip the translation for this one. I'll just do the next one. Kananaga, wait, kananaga, daibu, um, tume, is it tsume? I think that's it. Um, so it is the e adjective tsumetai, but here it's actually a verb. The verb form is actually pronounced totally differently, which is hieru. So it's hiechatta. Hiechatta no kana. So I've never heard of a hieru before, but I'm not going to. They're meaning a samui. But one is a verb, one is an e adjective. Yeah. To get cold. Hi. Okay. Um. Is it that cold? Um, that's what I'm assuming the first What does mada is. mean? Oh, sorry. Is it already that cold? Yep. Is it still that cold? Yeah. Still, yeah. Anyway. Um, I think daibu means um, time or... I like guess. It really means mostly. It's like um, my body is really or mostly getting cold or has mostly become cold. Yeah, um, chatta is not ni naru. This comes from a word called shimau, which well, is specifically te plus shi becomes shimau. So this, if you was like in a novel, I would say hiete shimau, but because she's talking out loud, we have some slurring, so it becomes hi shimau. Um, and then chatta, right? That's from the hmm. shima, right? That which became chi. Ma, that became cha, mm -hmm. and ta is just past tense. Do you know what simao means? 
しまった。Yes, so I've heard of the Shima a bit, but I've actually never、um, went along and actually looked up what it meant. So,、right. um, if you look up it in the dictionary, it it's not going to help you very much. In the dictionary, Shima a、no, means no. completely, to get something completely done. But it is almost always about 90% of the time. Really, mostly just used to express sadness toward a idea to show that you're not happy about something. So, you could translate、yeah. this as, Ugh, I'm totally,、um, my body is totally all, basically、um, uh, chilled to the bone or whatever. I'm totally cold. The yeah, totally, totally, right? Yeah. Is being used to add that kind of emphasis to the sentence. To mean、mm. all, right? Totally is completely.、Um, so it's very similar to that, except for shimao is almost always negative, which totally can be used in a positive context, which if you use context to tell if it's positive or negative.、Um, but here we can tell it's a negative thing, right? It's,、uh, not, it's not a good thing that she's completely cold. So it's kind of like, oh,、no, I'm totally 100% mostly cold, this body of mine. Yeah. Hi.、Right. And the other character says, Hi, oi de nani, which is, okay, come here. And she says, What? And Anthony, next two bubbles for you. Anthony? You're right, Anthony. You're muted. Okay, I, I muted myself, sorry.、Uh, Karita, hi on. を返そうと思って、そういうことね。借りた対応を返そう。あ、I、so she's saying like,、uh, here, I'm going to like, give you, lend you some, some of my,、um, or give you back? Or, I don't know if it's like giving you back or lending you the,、uh, my, my warm. Hi, Kaiso、uh, ka- comes from Kairu, which means to return、yeah. something. So I was thinking I'm going to return Taion, which is body t- temperature.、Dumb. So I'm going to return the borrowed、yeah. body temperature. The borrowed in borrowed. this context、okay. is not specifically mentioned, but if you remember the beginning of this chapter, there was a whole entire conversation、yeah. they had about how this one character was going to take a nap in the Blanket, and that they were going to return this warmth to this character later on. And she was like, What the heck are you, who are you even talking、yeah. about? So she's saying, Ha,、huh, here I'm doing it. So you. Ah, so that's the meaning so you, of that. How, how would you like translate so you k o t o n e Just literally, I'm, I don't know what the English translation would be. So you k o t o n e So that's what you mean by that, right? Uh, uh, okay, meaning okay. a thing, an event, an action, anything like that, that is being defined as something that was said out loud, which was this line. So that is what you meant by that.、Uh, um, that's not like the best English、okay. sentence, but that's what it means. So, atakai, you no karada. Well, is it warm, my body? And the next bubble goes to cookie. Cookie, cookie. And then it says, Nande, Konani, Nekuzuki, Inda. Why are you so, like,、um, stout or something? What? Hi.、Um, so, stout is kind of like saying plump. Yeah. Is that how, how I'm supposed to read it?、No. Yeah.、Um, yeah. And then she says, ah ha ha, kusu gutai, which is, ha ha ha, I'm ticklish. And Anthony, next bubble for you. Ah,、uh, watashi to onaji kurai shika, kurai shika tabete nai no ni. Watashi to onaji kurai. I didn't eat the same amount. It's because I didn't eat the same amount. What does shika mean? Shika is only, 
Uh, right. Yeah, it's only. But only is only. also known as docket. Is how are Shika and docket yeah. different? Um, it, only and only. <laughs> like it's the, so the only thing the that she is, did. The truth is, Shika I, is I the she, opposite of okay. docket. Um, both you and Cookie like to translate Shika as only, and you can rearrange the sentence to mean only. But the meaning of Shika is the opposite of only, which is except for. Uh. So you could say, I've only tabited, right? If you're translating Shika as okay. only, you have to take off the nai. So I have not eaten except okay. for watashi no onajiku kurai, or I have eaten. Those are your choices. You have to. You, you can do only if you delete the knife for the sentence. Ah, uh, I I only eat mine. What I should my share of food. Good guess. So when you translate sentences in Japanese, it's very important to know the context. The context here is that uh. this character is fat, <laughs> and she's. Like, flat. why yeah. are you so fat? We, you, onajiku with watashi to. Me and you eat the same amount of food, uh, but the blonde hair character is more plump and warm. Why is that? Uh, it's because the blonde hair ate her share, too. <laughs> yeah, she, eats the, she eats the extra chocolate. Uh, but literally, this says, these two characters eat the same amount of food, but this one is bigger. Um... Uh, uh, oh, at all, yeah. which is, I have no idea. Why is it, I wonder? Um, the answer is genetics. Uh, next bubble is for a cookie. Uh, dose, um, what, I guess what? calorie. Okay, it's got the nine. Um, Okay, I'm just going to quickly check. What does a uh, door say mean? Uh, like, anyway? So, by anyway, uh, your head is, like, um, using a lot of calories, it must be. Is it? Your head Nine? must be using a lot of calories. Sorry, the black hair um, one uses not more head. Using a lot of calories. <laughs> she's, she's saying you're yeah, stupid, and that's why you're plump. But I use a whole bunch of calories because I am smart and I'm using my head a lot. Um, <laughs> she said, oh, what if instead it's that Tichan is using her head too much? And that's why she's not plump enough. You, Taeyeon, takai na, atakai. You's body temperature is quite high. It's warm. Um, these two bubbles will go to Anthony. Okay. Um, engine no kakari kakari ga warui. Samusa no sei kana. Engine no kakari. Hi, kakari in the song um, the is start starting. Of the engine. Hi. Yeah. Uh, the starting of the engine is kind of bad. Um, was is it the uh, the coldness fault? Is it, is it the Hi. the Perfect. cold fault? Yosh. Okay. Tsukari yuka ni umoreteru na. Wow, it's been completely buried by the snow, huh? Um, next bubble goes to Cookie. Uh, mukashi, I think that means mukashi no kotona. Uh, um, uh, um, I would start oh, here. I think it's like yeah. the things from, yeah, so it's like if, um, if from a long time ago. No, I, I would look at this. Ago, Okay, yeah, sure. Um, if we can't see um, 
In this context, because of the mukashi, we know it's past tense. If we did not see. Yeah, if we did not see um, the uh, the thing that was buried in the snow. What? Um, the word thing isn't in the sentence, but it is insinuating the sentence. Do you know what konnafu means? Um, in such a way. Ah, close. Konna means this. So in this way, such a way would be sonna. <laughs> so we are referring to something that has just occurred. In this way, yeah. something has been buried by the snow. Yeah. So if we had not seen something buried in the small snow in this way, back in the past, is what it says here, and the context is that we would not have been prepared or something. It would have been bad. Yeah, um, I think it would have been nicer if I started from the start, but I guess really? from the back works too. Oh, yeah. I feel like if we did not see is such an important part of the sentence, how would you translate it without oh, no. that? I'm not saying I should discount that part of uh, the sentence. In the past, saying, in this way, snow has been buried we, yeah. if we did not see. I feel like it makes no sense yeah. Yeah. at all. I focus on the subject more. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the ga here is really weird because <laughs> it's not... Sure. Cause, yeah, it's, it's the thing that was mietad, the thing that was seen. So I guess uh, I guess it would be true if you started with... um. The thing that was seen in the past, if it was not seen, that uh, yeah. if the past event was not seen, which was of this information, it's like really hard. I feel like to formate the sentence, that way. <laughs> but it, that, yeah. it, it it is theoretically what the Japanese is saying. But it just it's easier to start okay. here at the bottom, just because we don't really use passive midu in English. Uh, True. Uh, Anthony, next bubble for you. Okay, Chi-chan. Chi-chan mo kangai sugi te. Yo. Yo. Yo kei na karori tsukawa na kute sumun janai. Ah, Chi-chan mo kangai sugi te. Yo. Tsukawa na. Tsukawa na. Sumun. Sumun janai. Oh, what's sum? Oh, wait. Sumu is to pure. Sumu is to finish something, but in the best possible results available. Like, if you fall down the stairs and you want to say, like, oh, I wasn't really hurt, uh, but I ended with, like, just some, like, a bloody wound on my head or something, you could use sumu there because at least you didn't die. Um, so it just means to complete something, uh, but it's it has to be the best... I outcome out of what could have happened uh okay so the the blonde hair character says um uh, chichen do um even uh chichen mo gangai sugi uh, so if uh thinking excessively um about um then you'll like um Use up your calorie or burn your calorie completely uh, on the um, excessive or unnecessary things. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that that is kind of what I'm saying. Going up that it's pretty weird here, uh, but yeah, that that sounds right. <laughs> I believe you. Uh, Cookie, oh, okay. your turn. Okay. Hi, hi. Um... Oh, it's still loading. Oh, my God. Oh, it um, is? That's crazy. Here we go. No, here we go. So, umoreru... Wait. Umorete mo yuki wa chanto... Um, uh, that's... I think that's towaru. Yep, tokeru. Yeah, tokeru yo. Um, can you scroll down a bit on the Google Sheets so Hi. I can see cell number 36? Tokeru. Yeah, thank you. Um... This I one, think it's no something needed. to do. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, I'm thinking it's like uh, 
and it, it is like the snow needs like the buried snow lead needs to properly melt or something. Where did need come from? Um, the fact that they mentioned properly, so it's just implied. Ah, okay. Um, so chanto properly has nothing to do with need. It's the properly, like you said. Um, the thing that is properly melting is snow. It's melting like it's supposed to do. Oh. Uh, yeah. Do you know what temo means? Uh, it's like at all costs. Um, something like Maybe? that. It's got to happen. Maybe. I I don't recognize that, but I don't know. Uh, mo means um, even, right? Or yeah. also. With that being the same word in Japanese, and it just kind of slides on a scale. Kind of like how omo and kangairu are two different words in Japanese, even and also are two different words in English. But it's the same idea. So um, in this context, mm. even is a better vocab word to select in the English language. Um, which is even, and I guess you do kind of use if here uh, in the English sentence, because um, if and when are the same thing in Japanese. But um, even if you, even if it's buried, right, um, it being insinuated mm. by context, even if it's buried, the snow is properly melting, right? So even though the snow yeah. is burying everything, it's going to properly um, melt anyway, so it's fine. Um so, um, that's the fourth sentence, right? Oh. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. Maybe. Uh, don't worry about it. Ga saijo buka na nani ka arundaro. So on the other side of that is the most upper layer. Um, I wonder what's over there. And we have our last little lines of the day. Who wants to read the handwriting? Kondo watashi wa, um, I think that has to do with speed. Um, hayasu. Huh? Hmm. What is that? Uh. Mokuro time. Um, actually, no, wait. Mokuro can't do that. Kaisu, maybe? Kaisu is weird. Yeah, manga dash OCR on GitHub can do it, but uh, I didn't. It looks it. like Kaisu. Which means this time I'll return it, which um, I guess is referring to the body heat. Uh, this time okay. I'll return the body heat, right? That was like a little thing they were talking about that one person uses the heat and the other person returns it. And then uh, the other one? Hi. Unten. Si. Zurai. Si. Zurai. Nai, which isn't it um hard to be driving? And I think the context is it's hard to drive with the blanket on you. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we will be ending this here.